two hours last night. What do you have to add? Tell me the outcomes that are at least two. Two, what else? Three, what else? Four, what else? Five, what else? The six plus. Is that true? And so, if I add P of two, plus P of three, plus P of four, plus P of five, plus P of the six plus, aren't I adding, I mean, didn't we do this before? Remember that? We're adding all these probabilities. We, we did this before. Aren't we adding all those values? So what happens when we add 0 plus 0? Because these are zeros here, right? 0 plus 0 plus, what's P of 4? Is that 0.175? P of 5? 125. 125. P of 6? 0.26. So if I add all those probabilities together, like I did before, I could deduce the answer. So the probability that a student has slept for at least two hours is going to be what value? 0 0.56. And again, note, that's analogous to saying that 56% of the students slept for at least two hours. Anybody here, uh, did anybody here not sleep last night? Get zero hours? You didn't sleep? You did? Who slept the longest? How long did you sleep? Oh, that's not the longest, is it? I think I slept more than six. How, long, how many hours did you sleep, Moshe? <laughs> exactly, eight or nine hours. Anyone else? You had eight hours? Not, who had nine? Anybody had more than nine? OK. Um, what about this question? Example, probability of at least one hour. Probability of at least one. How do you represent that at least one again? X is what in relation to one? X is what? Good. Greater than or equal to one. That's how you represent at least one here. So can you tell me which outcomes are greater than or equal to 1? Which outcomes are greater than or equal to 1? 1, what else? Nope. Not 0. 2, 3, 4, 5, and what? 6 plus. So if I add up all of those probabilities, I'm going to get my answer. Is that true? OK, you guys OK with that one? Well, how about this? Do you guys remember? What was the complement? We'll put a note here. Remember I said you want to know that the complement of at least one is which outcome? Good. So the complement rule for probability is simply this relationship. The probability that, is, that a, a student slept for at least one hour is one minus the probability that the student slept for what? No hours, right? So here's what you want to recall. That this is, yes, x greater than or equal to 1. But how do I represent none hours? This is 0. Isn't that much nicer to compute than having to add all of these probability values together? What do you think? Is that, am I right or wrong? Isn't that much that, would you rather, I don't know, would you rather add all of these values or would you rather use the complement rule? Complement rules, it's designed to help you, not hurt you. Okay, knowledge is designed to help you, it's not designed to hurt you. You may think, you may disagree. You may say, oh no, this hurts. But if I told you, you know what? You can compute your probability on a test situation. Probably that x is greater than or equal to 1 is 1 minus p of 0. Believe me, I'll go back to this remark later on that doing this is going to save you a lot of time, energy, and pain.
What's P of zero over here? What's P of zero? 0.125. So what's 1 minus 0.125? Point, Point what? 0.875. Is that right? Now, how easy was that to do? Wasn't that easy to subtract that value from the number 1 versus adding about 5 or 6 values here? Right? Wasn't that easier to do? Well, later on, what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to look at probability formulas. And if you had to an answer in at least one question and you insisted on going about it this way, you're going to have to apply the formula 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times and add those values compared to applying the formula only once and subtracting that value from 1. Do you see the benefit? See what I'm saying? And that's what you want to get used to. That's why I tried to talk to you guys about the at least one last time and say, OK, you know, this is your best friend. It's going to be your best friend. If it's not already, <laughs> you got time to befriend it. OK? Some of you guys, you don't like at least one because you don't, you don't like the language. Does anybody use here at least one in their everyday life? Or am I the only person? Do you use at least one? Maybe. <laughs> Don't remember. Anybody here at least use at least one? You use at least one? When have you used it? <coughs> at work. All it, yes. You notice you have to around kids. You, you have to be what? Specific with kids. If you're not, oh, forget it. They'll tie you up, leave you in the corner. You got to be specific. Okay, that's that same thing's happening here. Same exact thing's happening. Okay. All right. What about this? Ah, uh, example. Probability. Oh, you guys remember this sort of notation? What does this mean? You guys remember that? You guys hated that notation in Math 125. Is that true? Well, what does it mean? That x, the random variable, the number of hours that students have slept, right, is between 1 and what? 4. So that's what, that's, what, that's what this is. This is the between 1 and 4 language. And remember, I think we said the first, the first week that we're going to, this is inclusive here, okay? So saying between 1 and 4 means include the 1, include the 4. So which outcomes are between 1 and 4 inclusive? P of what? P of 1, good. P of 2, good. P of 3, good. And P of what? 4. All of those outcomes are between 1 and 4. Does that make sense? I think this stuff is too easy. I had a student that once asked me, she said, you know, I don't like taking math 125 because it's so hard. I have to solve these absolute value inequalities. And then she said, I heard, I heard statistics and probability is easier. I said, I think it is. But you have to recall, what does that mean between being 1 and 4? Isn't that P of 1, P of 2, P of 3, P of 4? So what are those probability values? What's P of 1? What does it say? 0. 0.315? What's P of 2? 0. What's P of 3? What's P of 4? What is it? 0.175? OK. What's the probability of selecting a student that slept between 1 and 4 hours? What happens when you add these values? What do you get? Point what? 0.49. OK, so we talked about the less than situation. We talked about the at least situation. We talked about the between situation. Um, all those situations are going to come into play. OK, you guys OK with that? Anybody have any questions on this notation?